The best laptops for students rise to every occasion, with the ability to handle tough work assignments, binge-watching the latest TV, and video calls home. There is no doubt that the best student laptops have to tackle a huge variety of situations, which means it can be hard to find the right machine. On the inside, your new laptop has got to have enough processing power to tackle work assignments and loads of multitasking. You'll want to switch between music apps, browser tabs, and office tools without interruption. The best student laptops need great battery life as well, so students can go to lectures and meet friends without worrying about running out of juice. That bodes well for the long journeys home for the holidays too. We have listed the top 5 laptops for students and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, guidinggear.com. Number 5. Lenovo Chromebook Flex 5 Lenovo's Chromebook Flex 5 is a 13-inch 2-in-1 Chromebook that tries to outspace the most inexpensive systems without inflating the price. It is a surprisingly attractive and confident laptop. It feels substantial in hands as well, thanks to the metal display lid and the textured plastic of the laptop's lower half. A bit of flex is noticeable when handling the laptop roughly, but it's not obvious in normal day-to-day -day use. The display lid is especially rigid for a budget laptop showing only slight hint of give. Every Chromebook Flex 5 configuration has a 1080p IPS touchscreen. This is among the laptop's greatest perks. It's a decent display as well. We measured a maximum brightness of 298 nits, which is more than the promised 250 nits and high enough to make the glossy screen enjoyable when used indoors. The Lenovo Chromebook Flex 5 is a solid mid-range Chromebook with a good display, excellent speakers, a nice keyboard, and versatile connectivity. Its performance and battery life is a little compromised, but that's acceptable at the 2-in-1's $389 price point. Number 4. Acer Aspire 5 The Acer Aspire 5 is bigger and heavier than the Dell Inspiron 14, shorter on battery life and missing some features and creature comforts, but it has a brighter screen, more ports, and more powerful processor and graphics card, and it's often cheaper. The 11th gen Intel Core i5 processor has a higher maximum clock speed than the Core i3 on the Inspiron 14. And its Intel Iris XE integrated graphics processor is more powerful than the basic USD graphics on the Dell. This doesn't make the Aspire 5 a gaming laptop, but it helps a bit for light photo or video editing, and the extra power will speed up the CPU intensive task. The Aspire 5's 9020x1080 non touch IPS display gets a little brighter than the Inspiron 14's WVA, which means less eye strain in bright rooms or outdoors. It has decent viewing angles and color reproduction. The Aspire's precision trackpad is just as good as the Dell's, and the Acer has more ports, HDMI, three USB-A ports, and USB-C port, a combo audio jack, and an Ethernet port. Like the Dell, the Aspire 5 ships with the Nose 11. It comes with a bunch more bloatware, including a trial for Norton antivirus, but that's easy to disable, and you can always use Windows' built-in reset tool for a clean slate. Number 3. Microsoft Surface Go 2 the Surface Go 2 is nearly identical to its predecessor, at least until you turn it on and see the trimmed down bezels surrounding its 10.5 inch screen. It's amazing what a little tweak can do. The Surface Go 2 measures 0.3 inch thick and weighs 1.25 pounds, making it lighter than the Surface Pro 7. It's also a hair thicker and heavier than the Galaxy Tab S6 and the iPad Air. The Surface Go 2 looks a lot like its big brother, the Surface Pro, with a silver magnesium shell and reflective Microsoft logo on the back. It's nice that the Surface Go type covers are available in ice blue, poppy red, platinum, and black. But we wish Microsoft also offered similar striking colors for the Surface Go's chassis. Most of the Surface Go 2's ports, the USB-C port, headphone jack, and the Surface connector are on the right side while the power and volume buttons sit on the top edge and the microSD reader is on the left. The Surface Go 2's 10.5-inch Pixel Sense display measures 1920x1280 pixels and is a notable upgrade from the Surface Go's 1800x1210-inch panel. The additional screen space makes the tablet look a bit more modern and closer to the thinner bezels of the Galaxy Tab S6. Number 2. Google Pixel Book Go Loads of schools use Chrome OS now, so it makes sense that students want to continue embracing Chrome OS at university and the Google Pixel Book Go is your best Chrome OS option. Chrome OS is now a mature operating system that'll tackle virtually any student task, and this matte aluminum body is sturdy and stylish. Combine that with a very impressive 1080p display and quite comfortable keyboard, and you've got a tempting all-rounder that is lightweight and easy to carry around. On the inside, the Chrome is available with older Intel Core M3, i5, and i7 processors. The M3 chip is suitable for basic tasks. The Core i5 CPU is a good everyday chip, and the Core i7 CPU is ideal for mainstream creative work. We'd also recommend the 16GB option if you want to enjoy flawless multitasking. Battery life sits at reasonable 12 hours, and the pricing is decent. 
the Pixelbook Go starts at $649 and ranges up to $1399. Elsewhere, the Pixelbook Go has a webcam and two USB-C ports, but sadly, no full-size USB ports. It's only got mediocre speakers too. The Pixelbook won't suit everyone, so those with more demanding needs will find extra power and features elsewhere. But if you want to use Chrome OS, then the Pixelbook Go is the best choice. Number 1. Apple MacBook Air The MacBook Air looks almost identical to its predecessor, measuring in at 212.4mm thick. And it's almost identical dimensions to the new MacBook Pro. But Apple tapered the design of the MacBook Air to help shave off a bit of weight and give it distinctive Air look that Apple has lent on for years. It's immediately noticeable as a MacBook Air, that much is certainly true. There's a headphone jack, two USB-C ports, and that's it. Considering one of those two USB-C ports is used to charge the laptop, that'll leave you with a single USB-C port at your disposal when tethered to the wall. There's no better ultra-light laptop on the market right now than the M1-based MacBook Air, especially at the $999 price point. It may not look that different physically, aside from a few new keyboard shortcuts and P3 white color gamut support on the display, but it's a complete transformation on the inside. The Apple-designed M1 chipset based on Apple's A-series processors offer a significant improvement on the Intel-based MacBook Air from early 2020 in just about every way. It's faster, more powerful, and largely more capable too. But despite all this, there's an increase in battery life too. Throw in the ability to run iPhone and iPad apps on the laptop, and you've got a great, powerful, ultralight laptop. The only downside is that the performance can't be sustained over long periods thanks to a bladeless design, meaning those wanting to do 6 plus hours video edits may be a better off for the M1 based MacBook Pro or Mac Mini. Buying Guide Do you really need a $1000 laptop? Will it get broken? Or worse, stolen? While more expensive laptops will get you better gaming performance, that probably isn't a priority if you're focusing on coursework and exams. Powerful devices may still be necessary if you're studying a course that requires complex software think animation or video editing. In these scenarios, you don't want to be waiting around forever for things to render when you have a deadline. However, those who simply just need to write Word documents and browse the internet can spend a lot less and still find a laptop that's perfectly good. Since there's a wide range of needs out there, depending on your circumstances, we've included a real mix of devices to choose from here, including Chromebooks. They might not technically be laptops, but we've also included a couple of tablets since with the help of a keyboard case and or stylus, they could be a much better solution for some students. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up, stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.